Of an estimated 4,000 homeless people in Austin, as many as 1,000 of them are children. And in this very hot summer, the streets are no place for homeless families with children. So an ambitious effort is underway in East Austin to get those families into good housing and keep them there. Jim Swift tells us what's going on at M Station. Just beyond the MLK Capital Metro Rail Station, near bus and bicycle lane routes, sits a new apartment complex. M Station is really designed as mixed income. There are 150 apartments. 15 of them are for extremely low income or homeless families. I had ended up getting laid off in December, and that was my second layoff, and I had an eviction before. For Jennifer Johnson, the only thing that kept her and her one-year-old son off the streets was a temporary stay in a group cottage at the Texas Baptist Children's Home. That's where she heard about Foundation Communities, a nationally known nonprofit from Austin that incorporates low income units in its housing development. It's not an easy program to get into. Folks have to meet with their case manager every week and really work on employment and education and child care issues to you know, really get back on their feet. So this is our two bedroom mini model. The Children's Home Initiative offers not just brand new green built housing on a sliding scale, but child care and programs to help residents find jobs, learn English, save money, go to college, get needed physical and mental health care or substance abuse counseling. There's even a free income tax preparation service that has claimed millions of dollars in refunds for low-income residents in all of the foundation community's developments here in Austin and in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. It's embarrassing when you go to jobs and they ask for your address and it's a shelter or when you go and you're looking for help and you have to write homeless on every single paper emotionally it just breaks you down and makes you humble graduates of the 18 month long children's home initiative get the opportunity to stay in their new homes paying below market but still higher rents if we're going to reduce the number of, from 4,000 homeless in austin to 3,000 or 2,000, we can do it if we build a variety of supportive housing options. In East Austin, Jim Swift, KXAN News.